Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspie's five box high end baseball mixer. Random team break number one. One spot gets you two. We got Eminent in here as well, some high end hit parade. Let's check it out. Big thanks to this group. One spot gets you two, so we'll double you up like Sir Mix a lot. All 30 teams are in. Let's roll it and randomize names and teams two and a one, three times each. Trade window open. One, two, and three. Eugene down to Brett after three. Two and a one, three times for the teams. One, two, and three. Astros down to Giants after three. All right, Eugene with the Astros, Travis with the Guardians, Ryan with the Padres, Eugene with the Diamondbacks, TJ with the Yankees, Brett with the Marlins, Taylor with the Mets, Brett with the A's, Junior with the Rays, Taylor with the Rockies, David with the Nats, Brett with the Mariners, uh, Scott with the Pirates, Brett with the Angels, White Sox and Royals, Travis with the Brew Crew, Junior with the Red Sox, Scott with the Blue Jays, uh, Brett with the O's, Travis with the Cubs, Jimmy with the Cardinals and my Dodgers, Eugene, last spot, Mojo, Reds, Travis with the Tigers, Eugene with the Rangers, your other last spot mojo team, TJ with the Phillies, Ryan with the Twins, David with the Braves, and Brett with my rivals, the San Francisco Baseball Giants. All right. We'll pause the video. When we come back, we'll see if there's any trades. Then we'll have the breaks. So we'll stick around. Be right back. All right. Welcome back, everybody. No deals were done, so that list right here remains the same. Thanks everyone for making it happen. We can run this back too, at least once more. Now let's, uh, let me tell you what we're gonna do here. We're gonna break, basically break in this order right here. We're gonna do the jersey first, then the Bowman box, then the, the three autographed baseballs that are in there and then we've got the two eminent boxes. So these are officially licensed. You can kind of tell right there if you turn your head a little bit. You use this area as my staging area here. And we'll play a quick little round of who am I. I'll give you the clues, you guess who the player is. All right, this is an officially licensed jersey. This is a uh, an active uh, utility player. Bats lefty, throws right. A two-time All-Star and a MLB batting champion. Th this this might give it a, this might be easy for some of you, but I did not realize that his nickname was Squirrel or Flying Squirrel. He's got a lifetime 293. 768 hits, 59 home run, 283 runs batted in. When he was the batting champion, he hit... He hit 326 to win the NL batting title. Was an all-star silver slugger and uh, got, some, got a couple MVP votes, top 15 MVP. Who am I? I think of him mostly as a second baseman. Not Luis Arias. I don't think he was in the NL in 2022. That was more recent, wasn't it? Last year? Um, drafted by the team I play for. Out of Cal State Long Beach. Um, not JT, he 
He went to Fullerton, I think. And he wishes he won a batting title. Not Marcus Simeon. He's in the AL. Obi-Wan's got it. Francisco Lindor's partner, Jeff McNeil. And it's worth pulling out of the bag. I'll fold it up nicely a little bit later. Here's his autograph. Because it's an officially licensed jersey. Nice. Mets, that's going to be Taylor and the Mets. There you go, Taylor. Got all the authentication stickers right there. You see Jeff McNeil right there. That's really cool. I've already got the, the retail tags still attached to them as well. Nice. And Taylor, I'll fold this up nicely after the break. We'll leave that here for now. This is really interesting. I don't think I've seen Bowman edition. And it's sapphire, so it should be a higher end set. Got a graded card, PSA slab. And we have, ooh, nice Bobby Miller from 2020 Bowman Draft, black refractor, PSA 9, numbered 65 out of 75. Highly touted pitching prospect on the IL, gonna come off it soon, I think. Nice. Uh, Dodgers. Jimmy with my Dodgers. There you go, Jimmy. All right. Autograph baseballs. So we got three baseballs in in the acrylic right here. Let's set this over here. First one. If I could get this out of here. Is Alex Ramirez. on a black baseball, gold stitching. Now, Alex Ramirez, we've pulled this guy before. And he is with the Mets, I believe. Yeah, he's with the Mets AA affiliate right now. Yeah, thanks, Grizzlebees, Jimmy's got it. Another Met. Going to uh, going to Taylor. Next up, we've got a two-tone baseball. Any guesses here? Just by looking at the auto. Not, not Bryson Stott. This is a 29-year-old center fielder, lefty, throws left, bats left, 
Lifetime 250 batting average, or no, I'm sorry, this year's batting average is 250. 74, no, lifetime is 250. 74 home runs total, 246 runs batted in, 106 stolen bases. Played for one team my entire career. An all star, a silver slugger, and a 30 30 club member all in 2021. Yeah, he's getting some pretty regular playing time. Yes, Cedric Mullins. Orioles. And this is just all the different certific certificates of authenticity that they use. All right, and the third and final baseball should be pretty easy. He's in his second full season currently, but last year, he's, he's doing not so good this year. Last year, though, hit 285, 25 home runs, 76 RBIs, 54 stolen bases, led the league with 10 triples, also had 30 doubles, an OPS of 868. Was an all-star, finished fifth in MVP voting. And, uh, yeah, Corbin Carroll. That's pretty easy. I was going to say one rookie of the year might have been a little easy. There you go. Black baseball, white ink. Looks pretty cool. Nice, and that's for Eugene, Arizona Diamondbacks. What was the giveaway, Rex? Oh, when I said not doing well this year? I mean, you can say that for a lot of players, but I guess Corbin Carroll is the extreme example. All right, a couple boxes of Eminent. have said second season. Maybe that was a little too easy. I forgot I said that. All right. Active starting pitcher. 28 years old. Just turned 28 in early March. Uh, currently a 5-6 and six record of 4-5-4 ERA. 79 strikeouts over 71 innings. But last year, I was an all-star and finished top 10 in Cy Young Award voting. I went 11-8 and eight last year, 366 ERA, pitched almost 200 innings, had 234 strikeouts. It's a pretty good one here. I guess it's a limited checklist here, so if you know your checklist on Eminem, you should know. Yes, Kevin's got it. Pablo Lopez. And looks like it's orange. Yes, it's an emergency. Yeah, three out of 25. Nice. Twins? It's going to be Ryan. Ryan G with the twins.
All right, we've got a Hall of Fame shortstop slash center fielder, a righty, six foot one sixty five, um, playing weight. It looks like currently sixty eight years old. Was a former first round pick, third overall. Went to high school in Southern California, about an hour north of us here in Woodland Hills. Was drafted out of high school, I think. I don't think I went to college. Played 20 seasons with one team. A two-time MVP. With about seven years splitting splitting those, those MVPs. Once when he was 26, once when he was 33. Three-time All-Star, a Gold Glover. A three-time Silver Slugger, a Hall of Famer, got in, got in first ballot with 77.5% of the vote in late 90s. Yep, Gansby and Kevin's got it. Robin Yount. That's right, Jason. Batman sidekick, Robin. Great penmanship. Great mustache. 23 out of 50, gold parallel. Believe it or not, it didn't take me until well into adulthood that I realized that that was an M and that was a B for Milwaukee Brewers. I always thought it was a baseball glove. Probably within like the last 10 years. Um, Brewers, that's going to be Travis. With the Brewers. There you go, Travis. And there you go, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. That was our five-box high-end mixer. We can run one more of these back today, tonight, if you want to. But I'm going to post another one soon after this. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.